All right, guys, welcome back for the second part of this Flutter Firebase app tutorial. So the goal with this second episode, as you can see, is to create the app structure. So that means we're going to create all the folders and the files in order for us to be really ready to start developing the app. So just to remind you where we stand, we want to create this InstaX uh, uh, social media app where you can log in, create an account, and once that's done, you're redirected to this home screen where you have a list view basically of all the different posts that were made with the profile picture, the name, when the post was made, and the post can either be a photo, can either be text, or both of them as you can see right here. And everyone can create a new post using this floating action button on the bottom right. So let's go ahead and work on the app structure. So as you can remember, in the last episode, we were exactly here on our uh, Flutter project. And just to remind you, we were here as well on the Firebase project, enabling authentication, Firebase Firestore, sorry, Firebase Firestore, and our storage. But we're not going to deal with that today. So what you want to do here is first create a new folder and call it packages. And so basically, this folder is the folder that's going to contain all the backend code that we'll do with Firebase. And create under that a new folder and call it user repository, sorry. And here, this is where in this folder, we'll deal with all the, the, the calls that we'll made with Firebase to authenticate the user, to create an account, to update the profile picture of the user. And under package, you'll create another folder and you'll name it post repository. And this is exactly where we'll create all of our logics to handle the post. So creating a post, maybe perhaps we'll do deleting a post, updating a post, all of that you can create on your own later on. So what you want to do under repository is create a new file and name it pubspec.yaml. And so that would be the same uh, name as uh, you can see right here. And what you want to do, it, it's going to run some stuff, but nothing is inside this Perspec file. So what you want to do here is actually copy the kind of the same logic you have inside your Perspec file, but you, we're going to make some tweak to it. So copy uh, your main Perspec and go inside the user repository. But here, the tweak is that the name of uh, the Perspec file needs to be a little different here, right? Because we are inside user repository. So we'll call it user repository right here and let's say that this is a dart package that manage the user dart package which manages the user right publish to none perfect version you don't really care all that and the dependencies will leave will leave the firebase comment right here but we'll need some other uh, firebase dependency but we'll deal with that later and once you actually save this file, you, you'll see uh, that other files were created and that's pretty much what we want right here. And that's very good. So under user repository, what you want to do is now create the folder structure. So you go ahead and create a new folder. We'll call it lib. Sorry, didn't work. Okay. Lib folder. Okay. Under lib folder, you'll want to create two things. You want to create a new folder that's called source and you want to create a new file that we'll call user repository dot dart and here basically we'll export all of the files that we've that we'll create under this user repository so for now you can just add library and user repository like this and we'll deal with the rest later and so to finish, you want to add some new stuff under the source folder right here. So under source folder, you want to create another folder that we'll call models and another folder, another folder that we'll call entities. And so basically what they are for. So models is all the, the, the files that will be classes. So basically our user class will be stored under here. And here we'll have, we'll have our user entity class and the user entity class, you'll see later, but it will handle the from JSON and the to JSON. So basically 
from the database and to the database converting our object, our user object to some sort of JSON element to go inside our database and our database when we'll want to call a user will give us some sort of JSON and we'll want to paste it as some sort of user object and this user entity class is going to do just that. So basically we can create now uh, inside those two folders two files First file will be entities.dar because here we'll export all of our classes and another file that we'll call myUserEntity.dar. Perfect. And I'm creating a class that's called myUser and not user because actually the Firebase authentication class to categorize a user is also called user. So you don't want to have it overlapping because it can cause errors inside your code. So call it my user and you'll be fine. And you want to follow the same logic for the model. So two, two files, as you could guess, models.dart and a new file, my user.dart. Okay, so you can collapse those models and entities files and under source, you want to actually create now two other folder, two other files, sorry. One that you'll call userrepo.dart and another one that you'll call Firebase user repository.dart. And so basically inside this Firebase user repository.dart will do all, it's gonna be the class that will handle all of the, of the methods, the function to, for instance, signing up the user, sign in the user and all this. And the user repos, repo uh, dot dart, this file is gonna be an abstract class that we'll be using inside our UI. So basically we can go ahead and create this abstract class right now. So abstract class user, sorry, capital letter repository and we'll leave it here, perfect. And we can as well create our Firebase class. So class Firebase user repository. And we want it to implement user repository that we just created, perfect. And you'll see some errors, but don't worry. First, if I know how to write, that would be better, perfect. So you see here, you have some kind of error. If you go into the quick fix, you can directly import uh, the user repository uh, that Dart file. So you can go ahead and do just that. And just for the sake of it, we can as well here inside models, my user, create the class my user, just for the sake of it, save that. And here inside models, you want to actually export uh, the my user, uh, the my user class that we just created. So my user, sorry, user.dart and save that. And you want to do the exact same thing for entities. So we'll start here, class, sorry, my user entity up and save that and go under entities and you will now export my user entity dot dart. Uh, it's because I still don't know how to write and you can save that and you're basically basically set up now for this user repository. So again, let's collapse everything and, and, and walk through it again. So you have a packages where here we'll be handling all the backend calls. You have a user repository that we've dealt with. So under your user repository, you have a perspect.yaml file where you'll import all of the packages that we'll need, Firebase Authentication, Firebase Firestore, and all other packages that we might need for the backend logic. Under that, you have a lib folder with a user repository.dart file, which is gonna be uh, basically exporting all of the stuff that we've done, and we can actually go ahead and complete that. So we want to export what? We want to export source, we want to export models, and we want to expo export models.dart. We want to as well export source, we want to entities and entities.dart, we want to export that. And we want to export as well source and we want to export user repo.dart. Perfect. So this as well 
is going to be used uh, inside our uh, uh, main app, I'd say, in order to make the right calls and access the classes that we need. So moving along here, you have a source uh, folder. You open that and you have several stuff. So you have first an entities folder. And if you collapse that, you have entities.dart that only export the myuserentity.dart file. And if you go there, you see that it's actually a class. And this is going to be used for uh, handling the backend calls, the backend transformation of the user class. And you have here models, another folder where models.dart exports the myuser.dart and myuser.dart is actually our user class here. And you have two other files inside source where you have Firebase user repository.dart. Here we'll be doing all the, the functions and actually write all the function right here. And it implements the user repository class, which is here, which is the abstract class that we'll actually be using inside our app itself to make some calls to access sign-in methods, sign-up methods, and all that. So for that, for the user repository, we are pretty much done. Basically, basically, it's going to be the exact same stuff for the post repository, except that we'll not have here my user.dart, but post.dart. So you remember I told you to create under packages two folders, one user repository and one post repository. Well, for us to not recreate all that by hand, what I, what I suggest you do is you go here and you just copy this user repository and under packages, you paste it. And you can as well now delete your post repository that you've created before and replace the user repository copy and rename that with post repository. Perfect. And now we want to make some few changes. So you want to go navigate onto, onto the perspect.yaml file and here change user repository with post repository and Dart package with manage the posts. Perfect. So the perspect.yaml file is all changed. So we'll navigate through the three again. So here you want to change the name. It's not user repository, but it's post repository. And here library, it's the same. So basically you have to go and change all of users by post. So let's go ahead and do just that. So here inside our user repo.darts, our abstract class is going to be post repository and we'll have some errors, but don't worry, navigate and you can change the name as well. It's not user repo, but post repo here. It's not Firebase user repository, but Firebase post repository and change the name of that post repository. It's not user repository, it's post repository. Basically replace all the users by, by post here. So here it's not my user, it's post.dart and here you exp perfect, he did it on his own. And I think it's the last file up post entity.dart up. And I think we're pretty much set except the fact that it's here post entity class and here as well it's not my user but post okay so let's see if everything is as expected rerun that close all the files collapse everything so we'll navigate to the post repository check the perspect file so post dart package manages the post that's fine under lib post repositories all of that were changed source post repo Post repository, that's fine. Firebase post repository, the Dart, we're good. Models, we have the post class, the model exporting everything and post entity, it's perfect. Okay, so for the packages, we are done. We have our user repository and our post repository. That's pretty much it, really very good. So now let's focus on to the lib folder right here. Let me close that. So basically what we want to do is we want to uh, uh, create a few files here. So we want to create a file called app.dart and we want to create another file called appview.dart. Okay, perfect. So basically in our main.dart file, I only want to have the main function right here. So I will go ahead and delete all that. That's perfect. And here now 
I want to navigate to the app file. So this file right here, app.dart. And here, basically, I'll paste my main app widget and import material so everything works perfect. And you can see here in the main file, we have an error because we need to import what we just did, import app.dart and perfect, everything is running. And so basically the structure is, first you're gonna enter here this main.dart file, then you're gonna navigate to this app.dart file that we're gonna modify right now, and then you will navigate to the app view file that will redirect you. So basically that's pretty much what we want. So the files are created. Now here under lib, you want to create actually a few other screens, uh, folders, sorry. You want to create a folder that will be called screens where we'll store all the entire uh, UI of the app and as well a new folder that we'll call blocks where we have all our blocks. And lately, lastly, sorry, a new folder that we'll call components and we'll store global components, for instance, text fields uh, that will be shared throughout different screens. So that's pretty much it uh, for the structure of our app right now. So remember, we have our main file, then we navigate through the app.dart file here, and then we'll navigate to our appview.dart file. I'm not completing those file yet because that will be the job onto the next video. All right. I will see you guys in the next video where we'll be setting up Firebase authentication. So sign in, sign up, and that will be very much fun. So see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.